Hello guys, in this video I will be explaining about the formation of some of the natural crystals that we have on earth. Salt is an example of natural mineral crystals and are mostly formed from seawater as the seawater is composed of sodium chloride abundantly. Crystallization of sodium chloride salt occurs at the coastal area during the evaporation of seawater. While most table salt we consume is white in color, the Himalayan rock salt, which are mainly mined at the Salt Range Mountains of Punjab region in Pakistan, has a pinkish appearance due to the presence of traces of elements such as calcium, iron, zinc, chromium, magnesium and potassium. Let's have a look at the quartz crystal which is made from two most abundant elements on earth oxygen and silicon. Quartz crystal is a mineral crystal which has chemical composition silicon dioxide. In both high and low temperature, the unit construction is a tetrahedron consisting of one silicon and four oxygen atoms. A three-dimensional network structure is constructed by sharing all the oxygen atoms at the summits of the tetrahedra. The real question is, what are the geoscientific factors required for the quartz rock crystal formation to occur? First, beneath the earth crust is the earth mantle which is the source of magma or molten rocks inside volcanoes. These magma processes are important in the formation of igneous rock that are fundamental in the crystallization process of rock crystals. Secondly, the hydrothermal factor initiates the mineral crystallization when the water cools down. Some crystals are formed through deposition of rock minerals on the surface of the earth, which can be brought into the sea through weathering and erosion processes, eventually becoming sedimentary rocks beneath sea surface. Many gemstone crystals are also formed via metamorphic process which is the transformation of pre-existing rocks to new types of rock. Let's have a closer look on how magmatic process causes quartz formation. Quartz could form during igneous rock formation or the heat from the magma cooling which causes geothermal heated water to surrounding fluids in the environment. This will eventually make the silicon dioxide from the fluid to crystallize when the water cools off. The shape and the color of quartz crystal formed depends on various environmental conditions such as chemical and mineral composition, temperature, pressure, time and space. For example, smoky quartz or black quartz has a grayish appearance due to the presence of a colored center related to aluminium which substitutes silicon element. Amethyst appears as violet due to the presence of traces of iron or iron oxide hydroxide. Natural citrine is created with geothermal heat sourced from the mantle by heating amethyst. The pale pink color occurrence in rose quartz is due to the trace amounts of titanium, iron or manganese. Recent research also suggests the pink coloration is caused by silicate mineral fibers. Apart from this, chalcedony are aggregates of microscopic or minute quartz crystals. Those showing distinct patterns are called agate which has been widely used as ornamental stone for centuries. Agate are translucent in appearances. On the other hand, Jaspers are also microgranular quartz which are opaque in appearance whereby light can't pass through it. Jaspers usually exist as red, yellow, brown and green in color. Some crystals are formed in supercritical vapor phase concentrated in the final stages of magma solidification. These crystals include 
hematite which are mainly formed around fumaroles during the final stage of volcanic activity. Similarly, large and highly perfect crystals of quartz, beryl, topaz are also formed by vapor growth in the final stage of magma solidification. Ruby and sapphire are gemstones which are formed through metasomatism and metamorphism. In conclusion, formation of crystal gemstones may take thousand up to million years and this makes them so precious and expensive. I hope you have learned some amazing facts about natural crystals today. That's all for now and thanks for watching.